just raise your hands to the King of Kings. Oh, It's so crazy. Whenever he touches you, he's expecting to retaliate. When he was on the Calvary, when he was on the cross and they were nailing him, even the soldiers, I believe, when they were holding the hammer, they wanted to make sure that he's going not to retaliate. That devil is so crazy. Whenever he touches you, he's expecting to retaliate. Hallelujah. But I know you are wiser. You are going to go on your knees and say, Father, I glorify your name. I thank you because you knew me when I was in my mother's womb. You said it in the book of Jeremiah that you shall uproot nations and plant nations. You said in the book of Jeremiah that I am, uh, you say that I am the head in the book of, of Deuteronomy and not the tail. You said if a thousand comes against me, they will not even get near me. Uh, how many? How many times have you repeated the same equation and you keep on failing? Why keep on failing and repeating the same equation? I love David when he went to war. He was going to save his brothers with food. But going with food, he found himself in a mission. And the mission was to set free Israel. But in that mission, David was given an ammo that he had never used in his life. And when he was given that ammo, David went into it, he fit it. And when he tried it and walked with it, he said, I'm not used to this ammo. You, you know what? It's time when you have got to remove any type of ammo that you have been trying and try Jesus into your battles. Try Jesus into your journey. I assure you, when you remove your own mind, when you remove your own thoughts, when you remove your own planning and bring him into that planning, everything starts to respond to the king of kings because he loves you. David speaks into that armor. He says to Saul, I'm not used to these clothes. They are nice clothes, king. Uh, they really suit me, but I feel if I want to swing my arms and lift to the king of kings, my arm is so heavy because there is an armor, there is some clothes that I put on that I'm not used to. I need to go back and look for some stones. And where I'm going to find the stones, it's in the valley of Ella. And, and my God, my God, you know, a valley stands for a low place, a place of no value, a place of no esteem. When Davis goes there, I believe so was saying, is this young man good? Anyway, let's make him a sacrifice. We have got a second strategy. But when he gets into the valley, he discovers the king of kings. He picks a stone which represents the king of kings. The chief cornerstone. 
and he comes with the stone into the equation. He takes his sling and when Goliath speaks to David, it's the same words, the same words that spoke David, Goliath to David. They are the same words David spoke to Goliath. But in their equation, it was different. The other equation, he had God in it. And it had humility in it. It had no experience in it. It, it, it had faith in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he goes, I come to you in the name of God. That you belittle. And when he slings Goliath is down, I want to tell you there are some Goliaths that are waiting to go down. All you just need to do is you just need to kneel down and worship him and glorify him. And every mountain, it shall become a plain. And every valley shall be lifted up. I tell you, God is waiting for somebody in this place that is going to rise up. He said, I have tried these equations. They are not working. I have tried this mathematics. They are not working. I need to bring the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I tell you, when you bring him into the equation, every knee shall bow down. Every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord. Because he gives strength to the weak. He gives power power to the powerless. Oh my God is good. When he sees the weak, he stops doing everything. And all he needs to do is just to say, come up, baby. Come up, come up. We need to do something. I'm on your side. Hallelujah. I know you have tried to run away. You have tried to skip everything. Even your friends, you are no longer taking advices from them because you are tired of advices. This mountain, it was created. Genesis chapter 1, when God was creating, he created mountains. And it knows that there is one man that created it when he orders it to become a plane. It can become a plane right in that moment. Hallelujah. No wonder why it has been delaying. I know, I know you've been trying. I know you've been trying. But I, I, I want, I think, I think some of the delays happen because you were doing it in nervousness. Because God is not associated with fear. Fear is an opposite of faith. Fear. terrorizes you. You can pray all night in fear and God will not show up. But you can pray in 30 seconds in faith and God can show up. Fear is the weapon that takes all the strength from us. I've come here to command fear out of your life. Yeah, <laughs>